food spoilage and poisoning. Mhm. Tastes just like I thought. So sweet. Thank my fridge. It does the trick. Prevents my foods from spoiling or becoming unfit for consumption. Can I ask you a question? Yes. What really causes food spoilage? Mm, certain germs that cause the food to rot or become bad. Great. We have two categories of food spoilage that you should know. Aerobic and anaerobic food spoilage. In aerobic, microorganisms make the food rot in the presence of oxygen. For example, molding of bread and rotting of meat. Hmm. While anaerobic food spoilage happens in the presence of limited oxygen or lack of it at all for instance rotting of canned food hmm. so where does these microorganisms come from basically food spoilage is caused by chemical changes that occur in the food due to a number of reasons like hey patience boy i got you all right Oxidation of chemicals found in fatty foods can easily cause rotting of foods. Also, agrochemicals that are usually sprayed on plants contain chemicals that can lead to food spoilage. Plus, these chemicals can also be found in food containers, wrappings, enzymes that cause fruits to overripe, as well as rancidity, which is decomposition of fats. Mhm. Mm so when we eat such foods, we are likely to have stomach upsets, right? To be more precise, it is called food poisoning. The microorganisms that cause rotting produce toxins that are harmful to humans. Food poisoning is said to be an illness caused by eating contaminated food. And even though I hate to repeat it, Food poisoning is caused by chemicals or microorganisms such as bacteria or natural poisoning. As a result, there are three classes of food poisoning derived from the causes. And that is chemical, bacterial and natural poisoning. Yes. Chemical poisoning is caused by agrochemicals, kerosene, detergents, and dry cleaning agents. That's easy. And bacterial poisoning is caused by bacteria, which enters into the human body when you eat contaminated food. The bacteria inhabit the alimentary canal where they multiply to cause harm. It is the major cause of vomiting as a result of food poisoning. And this is the more reason proteinous foods should be stored under conditions where harmful bacteria cannot thrive. I'm really enjoying myself, Nancy. Mm -hmm. It follows that natural poisoning is caused by nature, right? <laughs> now you are turning into a comedian. Natural food poisoning is generally caused by natural poisons formed especially in poorly stored grains. This commonly happens when grains are stored in damp conditions or they were stored before they were completely dry, thus producing poisons called aflatoxins. That sounds like drugs to me. Poisonous drugs, perhaps. Aflatoxins are caused by a mold fungus found in agricultural products that have been poorly stored. Hmm. While we were chatting about poisoning, my mother mentioned that foods like cassava can be poisonous. Yep. The pith of the cassava, to be specific, hmm. did she also discuss the symptoms of food poisoning? Yes. Would you like to share? My pleasure. Uh -huh. Someone who has had food poisoning might vomit, mm -hmm. or diarrhea, or do both. He has severe abdominal pain or stomach aches, has fever, feels weak, and dizzy. I am beginning to wonder why you had to come. One more time, 
Did she also tell you how to prevent food poisoning? Oh my! Still very fresh in my mind. Always check the expiry dates of food before buying them. Buy food from clean markets and vendors. Store foods properly to avoid spoilage by ensuring the food stores are clean, spacious, and well ventilated. Plus, kitchen waste should be kept away from foods. Should I continue? Yes! I didn't ask you to stop. You also say that fruits should be washed thoroughly before they are eaten. Yes, I did. I also think leftovers should be cooled completely and stored under low temperatures. Uh-huh. And reheating cooked food is not a very good idea, I guess. Good guess. And to wrap this up, before we get ourselves something to eat, frozen foods should be thawed before cooking. What is the science behind doing that? This will ensure that the heat penetrates the food adequately mm -hmm. in order to kill any hiding germs. Well, it's time to cook. As my special guest, I am going to prepare beef and ugali, if that is okay with you. Don't forget vegetables for a well-balanced diet. And a glass of milk, all fresh from my big fridge. Are you intentionally introducing a subject for our next discussion? Perishable and non-perishable foods. I thought so, but first, we cook. Yes, we do. <laughs>